Yeah, I know. Really late. Better late than never, I guess, huh? <laughs>the delay guys i know it's been over two months um a lot of things came up in life uh just crap happens and sometimes you need a break and that's pretty much what happened um got a new motorcycle um some different things like that but i'm back don't worry regular um content will be flowing uh i have a trip to tokyo japan coming up in about a month i'll be doing a uh, vlog of my trip to Tokyo and games that I pick up. Uh, I hope you guys tune in on that one. I hope you guys are really going to enjoy it. I want to thank everyone who's been on my Discord, who has been patient and they're loyal always, and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, without you guys helping spread the word, this channel would not grow to where it is now. And that being said, we're closing in on uh, 500 subscribers. We are only 10 away. I cannot wait until I hit that milestone. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure you share and, and subscribe if you haven't already. But like always helps as well. And join the Discord in the links down below. You can always discuss with me information and things like that. But again, I want to apologize for the two-month delay. But I just needed a break. And I got a lot of cool games coming up. I have a Switch Top 10, Top 5 coming up. I have a PlayStation 3 Hidden Gems coming up. Uh, some market watches are coming back. But without further ado, I got five great PlayStation 4 Hidden Gems that you guys need to check out. Let's get this started. At number five, we have Gungrave VR. Um, this was a game that released on the PlayStation 2. Uh, it had two different titles that released on it back in the day. And it was a lot of fun. It was like a 2D, or sorry, 3D like action platformer, kind of like Devil May Cry. It was a lot of fun, and when it came out on um, the VR, I was really interested because it has an anime based around it and things like that. But it's really, it's pretty fun. Um, it's not for everybody. Uh, it does get repetitive at times. If you have a VR and you like anime stuff, I would say definitely pick it up, give it a try. Uh, you can get it for around 15 bucks at GameStop right now. Low print run, uh, Exceed Games. You know how that rolls, and being VR is even less copies produced. So it's definitely worth checking out, and I would go ahead and pick that one up. Probably gonna be pretty rare. At number four, we have Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Uh, this got a physical release through Limited Run Games, so you already know. Quantities Limited, uh, Bloodstained, uh, what was it, the new one just came out actually on a mass release on PS4, Switch, and everything. Definitely recommend picking that one up as well. But uh, this is basically a Metrovania style game. Um, Plays like Castlevania. So if you like Castlevania, you'll love it. This is a, pretty much one of the first Bloodstains that got the series started. Um, helped created by one of the original creators of Castlevania, so that's really cool. If you like old school retro games, definitely add to your collection. I mean, this is going for like 40, 50 bucks right now. Just pick it up, add it to your collection right away. Next, he battles demons with his mastery of alchemy. G Bell, a young man who, like Miriam, has had crystal. Number three, we have Call of Cthulhu. Oh, this one's a lot of fun. Um, this is a adventure um, horror game. Uh, so you're going to be doing a lot of, like investigating things like that. Uh, there's branching narratives depending on what you decide to do. Uh, it can go dark turns. Like in general, you want to find out what the story is, but the more you find out, the more insane your character is going to go. It's really cool. It's got elements of stealth. Uh, the stealth didn't bother me too much. It was a uh, low-grade stealth. It's not that hard. It's okay. There's a few tedious parts. The, they have a few action scenes that seem just kind of out of place. I don't know why I was even in there. Uh, I personally wouldn't honestly 
do that again. I got, but in general, the game is a lot of fun. Definitely worth picking up. Uh, you can get it for around 20 bucks. Play this one. You'll like it. Amongst which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Who knows the end? What has risen may sink, and what has sunk may rise. Mr. Pierce. At number two, we have The Occupation. This was a really cool uh, point-and-click adventure type game. It's not only really point-and-click, I shouldn't say that. It's an adventure-style game where you have to race the clock you get a certain real life amount of time to investigate like a big building and you have to pick and choose what you're going to do real fast to gather as many clues to investigate a story of murder and espionage and things like that it's really fun i played through this all the way through uh within a few days um i had a blast on this i love these types of games and under the radar Hands down, worth picking up. Uh, it's pretty rare. I mean, GameStop got it in some of the stores, but limited quantities. Yeah. If you like those types of games, if you like the games that I've recommended in the past, like Deponia and story-driven games like that, definitely pick this one up. You'll you'll have a blast. And they won't stop until we clear it too. Do you think Michael would still be alive? I think some things are just inevitable. Don't you, Detective? Let's try and stick to your side of the story, can we? Charles Bowman treated his relationships like he was playing chess. And was willing to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. He was so aggressive. How so? Scarlet was putting too much energy into sneaking around behind my back. It's her fault he's dead. Get out. What happened between the two of you? I thought you were friends. Too many things changed after the Union Act was announced. We must have known the repercussions the Union Act would have. Yes, I know. Yes, I believe the country could be better. And no, I was as shocked as everybody else when the bomb went off. Quite frankly, everything else is irrelevant. And you believe that Alex Dubois was solely responsible for this horrific incident? Yes. Yes. You don't seem too sure about it. Number one, we have A Plague's Tale, Innocence Lost. This is a great story-driven game. Uh, it's, it's really sad. Um, it portrays a character dealing with, like, the Inquisition and, like, death and their families murdered and just... Just watch the trailer and the, it'll... Pick this game up. All I'm gonna say. Pick this game up. I promise you, tonight we shall dine like kings. But the feast isn't on your plate quite yet. No! <clears throat> Go, Leon! Don't lose the scent! <sighs> this sunshine won't last long. We're lucky to be in this house. Mother? Shh! You are to stay here with your brother. Move! Come on! I won't ask again. Where is your son? <gasps> Amicia! You have no idea. Leave while you still can. Kill the sister! Take the boy alive! You must protect him. Are you stupid or what? I am not stupid! I know you, Amicia de Rome. Amicia, you killed him. I didn't want to. There's something in the ground, Amicia! I'm sorry. I'm 
Jesse. No, no, no. And that'll do it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the games that I put out today. Um, they're uh, they're really good. Check them out, especially at Plague's Tale Innocent Lost. Please play that game. That game is amazing. If you like Life is Strange, story-driven games like that, pick that one up. It's a lot of fun. It's really good. The story is great. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around. Uh, more videos will be coming. No more hi 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 hiatuses for me for a while. I just needed a break. But don't worry. That Tokyo trip, like I said, less than a month. If you have anything you want to talk to me about, you have any questions about what's going on in my life, join the Discord. I'm always on there. You can message me directly or talk to some of the fans. But uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below if you have any thoughts on this video. And as always, stay savage.